Hi guys, it's Shelly. Um, yeah, it's May of 2015, which makes my last video update um, over a year and a month ago. Um, it's been a long time. I have had a lot of things happen in my life in the last year and uh, recently decided that I wanted to start making, well, at the very least I wanted to make this video. Um, it's really weird making this video, like it's the first time I ever made one and obviously it's not, but it feels incredibly awkward. So um, here I am, a brief recap of things that have happened to me in the last year. Um, so last video I had just gotten back from the WLSFA meet and greet cruise um, and I'm sure like since then um, the internet YouTube community is like an insanely new beast and I um, to be completely honest I have no idea what's going on because uh, I haven't watched any videos or um, anything like the only like kind of like sense of um, reality that I have of this community is because Jen and Brad still make videos and sometimes she'll share things with me um, but for the most part like I've been a hundred percent MIA so um, so yeah so that was the last time I was here um, I since then David and I went on our honeymoon um, I was I want to say after the cruise or before the cruise whatever it was like 190 pounds that was like where I was at um, post cruise and then a month later we went on our honeymoon uh, post honeymoon, I was like 119 or 100, <laughs> 199 pounds, um, which of course like freaked me out, and I, I um, was like, oh, I have to do something. Like, I can't wait 200 pounds again. Like, the world will be over. Um, so I had seen um, Casey Quinn and some other people online that had done the whole 30. Um, I don't know if you call it a program or what you call it. It's a 30 day like eating challenge um, basically it's just your paleo for 30 days um at which point you are you know maybe like you will continue to be paleo or you know whatever but I did that for 30 days um and it was ridiculous um and it was good and it was bad and I lost like 15 pounds and um sorry my phone went off I got down to like 181 pounds or something like that it was I was like really fucking skinny um, and I wasn't exercising that whole time. I was just like losing all this weight and I, yeah, I was like 181 pounds was officially, um, not obese anymore. I was just overweight. I was, I, I was so skinny. It was ridiculous. Um, it was wonderful and that was great. And then the 30 days passed. So I completed the whole 30 and then I, um, at which point in time, I think I had like five five and a half cc's in my band, which is not a lot for me. Um, it's definitely restricted, um, more than like zero, but it's not that much for me. Um, so yeah, I completed that, uh, and it was really great. If you have any interest in doing that, like look into it, the website's free, it was also free for free. Um, so after that I stopped whole 30 ing um, for like, let's see, a month passed, um, at which point in time, um, all of that time I also had just started seeing a therapist and a psychiatrist and I was given medication um, which was really working for me um, that whole time I was thinking I started but I started on, on Wellbutrin um, and so that was really great and I thought oh wow I wish I had done this sooner um, which I wish I had done it sooner obviously I still think that that's not anything that changed but um, so I was doing that for a while and then I I was working a lot um, and unrelated to the rest of like my personal life um, my best friend can attempted um, to commit suicide and luckily um, nothing that did not happen and she's still alive and um, it sort of made a shift in um, David and I's life and that's in that time because she um, was living by herself and didn't want to continue to do so and so we were like uh, come live with us, like you totally can come live with us. So we um, left grandma's house, because as you can see, I'm in a new place. Last time I was uh, filming from grandma's house. Um, so we left there, moved into a house where we have been now for 
a little over seven months. Um, which is going really great. Uh, we really love being here and it's really nice having a roommate. Um, nice to have some help with bills, but it's also really nice to be able to support and help somebody else um, when they're going through like super tough shit. Um, because obviously I don't know what it's like to go through something to that extent, but I do know what it's like obviously to suffer from depression and anxiety um, on a different level. Um, and thankfully I've never experienced it to that extreme. Um, but it is nice, um, like I said, just to be living where we are and like knowing that it's helping us obviously, but it's also helping her. Um, so after that, um, we had our first wedding anniversary, uh, Christmas came all this time. I um, had pretty steadily been gaining weight and I didn't get a fill um, for a really long time. And I want to say around September, okay, let's back up, around like late September, I got a complete unfill to zero. Um, at that point in time, I also had a endoscopy done because I was having a really bad burning in like right here in the center of my sternum, like my chest area where my, my band is placed. Um, really bad burning, stomach aches, gnawing in my stomach, you know, I definitely convinced myself that I had had um, erosion of my band. Which, I think at th this point, um, a lot of people have either decided to not have the lap band because they would like a conversion to VSG, or um, people that I know, not like everyone, or um, people had issues with their lap band, maybe their band slipped, and I was, you know, Jen obviously had hers redone, um, and some other people have said, fuck it, I'm getting a sleeve. Um, I sort of, I have no, no problem with my band as the endoscopy proved, um, I just have a strange stress related stomach thing, like whenever I get like super stressed and I have like a lot of shit going on in my life, um, my, I get burning in my chest, so, um, probably coincided with obviously like a lot of the stress that I was dealing, um, like with my friend and all that stuff but um so at that point in time I got my band depleted to zero because um, I had to get an endos endoscopy done and I um found out that there's nothing wrong with my band um and I left it unfilled <laughs> for a very long time um simultaneously with that um things well I mean I'm not the first to experience this but when you um have things that are you're dealing with outside of yourself or, or your life, um, I think it really helps to force you to look at stuff within your own life, and, um, I think that though I was, like I said, like, going to a therapist and I was taking medication, I think at that point I actually stopped taking the medication, um, because I decided that I didn't want to and, you know, whatever, so I stopped taking the medication and I was sort of forced to like think about the things that were really making me unhappy and I think that so much of it had to do with the fact that like when I got weight loss surgery I thought that my the problem the, the central problem of my life was that I was fat that I was obese and that if that could go away, um, then everything would be perfect. Um, which, I mean, as anybody um, who is logical um, can see that that's not the case. Um, and once I realized that it was, um, then I was like, able, I guess, to like focus on like other things in my life. So it's almost like the, the thing that was immediately the barrier in front of me um, for most of my life was my weight. And once I lost the weight, like this wall broke down, um, but you could see other ones behind it. And at that point, it's just like, fuck, you know? Um, you really feel like you have like conquered like this thing that's going to make everything okay. And once you see that that was just <laughs> the first one, um, it sucks a lot, and it, I guess, like, 
sort of in a good way like sent me on a direction of like trying to figure out um what other things that I could deal with um but at the same time it sort of put that into the back of my mind you know so here I am now or here I have been um for the past six months or so dealing with what I have told myself in my head are more important things um and then focusing on my diet and focusing on my exercise and um, doing all of that because I I figured well I did that um, I lost the weight I focused on that and I was happy and I looked good you know and I hit it was I was what I had always envisioned it to be um, until I realized that that doesn't matter um, in other aspects of my life so I said okay well I'm going to Put this aside um, for now and I'm going to focus on issues that I have with my family or you know trying to just get better um, myself as far as my confidence with um, my job and how to be a better communicator with the people around me and all these things you know and sometimes it was it was really easy to get really caught up in those things and it did try to compartmentalize um, my mental health with my physical health and, and you can't compartmentalize that and I, I um, obviously I, I know that now and I feel like I, I knew it before but just when like traumatic life events occur shit gets messy and um, in, in Putting that part of my life away like what I considered to be like temporarily um, I grew to resent um, I grew to I think resent that in general I grew to resent the fact that I had to have lap band surgery I grew to resent the fact that once I lost weight um, I was happier based on my physical appearance. I resented that other people treated me nicer when I lost weight. Um, it became a, oh, well, you don't look like you ever had weight loss surgery or, you know, you don't look like you were ever obese or um, you look so pretty now or, you know, all those things turned into like, yeah, well, fuck you. Um, if you never told me that I looked nice before I had lost weight or if you told me or if you were just commenting on my body in general um, I was just like fuck you it's none of your business even if they're saying you look nice you look pretty um, even if they never knew me before I was overweight um, or before I was obese um, pretty much any attention that was drawn to me um, I resented because I thought it was shitty that anybody felt that they were allowed to um, comment on my body or my face or anything that had to do with me. Um, it had nothing to do with them. I thought they were shit bags. Um, I thought it was shallow. I thought I thought lots of things. Um, and not that I don't think those things anymore, but I do realize that it's not anything to get angry about. Um, unless somebody is overtly trying to offend you, which I'm sure nobody ever was. Um, but that's obviously still something that I struggle with because I... Um, I think it's I just think it's shitty yeah that obviously people don't like fat bodies people do like thin bodies and that when you have a thin body um, people feel that like they're allowed to talk about it um, whether they're trying to do it in a nice way or not because I just can't imagine ever like talking about somebody else's body because um, it's not mine um, so yeah that um, so all that happened in September I got my unfill um, early October, I decided to shave my head. As you can see, I do not have any hair. Um, something I wanted to do for a long time because I liked it. Um, I think it looks cool and I um, don't regret doing it. However, it does not look as cool now that I have gained a lot of weight. Um, that's something when I started in October, I was still like around 190, 100, 200 pounds or something. And now I'm like 250 pounds almost. So, um, it's not the same exact look that I was going for um, at my weight now, but like I said, all those part of the things that we have to deal with when we're talking about our weight and how it affects our body image and how 
um, though I wish that I didn't care um, because I wish that I was above it. I wish that everybody was above it, but it, the reality is that I'm not. Um, uh, so yeah, that was October, November, December. I don't know, here I am in May and I have had, um, I guess more recent things that have come up in my life that really made me realize um, that I don't I don't want to be out of shape, which I am. I haven't really exercised since um, October of last year, and at that point, even I wasn't exercising. I haven't like actually been committed going to the gym, doing anything like that in over one year, um, at which point uh, the last time I did that, I, I don't want to be like that again because I would like to be more balanced and I wasn't. Um, so I, I just feel like I'm like starting over. Um, well, it's not starting over because I have all the knowledge that I had or that I have learned from doing this before once. And I think I have a better vision of what I would like my life to look like. Um, constantly chasing moderation and yeah, so that's what I have been up to, and I decided that I wanted to make videos because, um, though a lot of it is me rambling, um, it's me saying things out loud, which I have noticed is something that is powerful for me to be doing, um, because I've just been, like, inside of my head a lot for a long time, so... I don't know necessarily when I'll make another video. I have like no promises or things of that nature. Um, but I do know that my experience is not uncommon. Um, but I do know that it is uncommon for somebody to talk about um, what could be deemed... Uh, I guess some people would call it like lap band failure or um, things like that. Um, and the thing that I want to like, say is that uh, I haven't been using my lap band pretty much the entire time that I've gained this weight, so I definitely cannot attribute it um, to physically my lap band. I can say that obviously because a lap band is reversible and adjustable, it has allowed me to do this in the sense where I chose to go and get my lap band unfilled to zero, and I chose at that point, you know, I got to fill again, I was at like five. And then I got it deflated a little bit because I went on vacation to Paris. And I'm waiting to get another fill um, in a couple of weeks when my doctor has a next appointment, you know. So um, is it a failure in the sense that my lap band all by itself was defective and broke? Uh, no, it's choices that I have made. Um, yeah, choices that I have made. So... Uh, and I guess that's just like something that I would like to like put out into the universe um, like the reason I chose my lap band is because it was reversible and adjustable and I'm still I still have it um, and I plan to still try to use it and I think that in general I do all things in my own time and right now I feel like I'm going to use it again so that's what I'm doing. Um, I can't really think of anything else that's going on for me. Um, well, that's not true. Okay, so another thing, um, and I guess a, like another reason that I like am here, um, and I'm really trying to focus on this again, is obviously like overall, I don't want to be um, the way that I am now. I don't want to be physically inactive. I don't want to get out of breath. I would like to be able to exercise again and to run and to feel strong. Um, but I also would like to lose weight because I want to get pregnant and have a baby. Um, and I don't want to do so at the weight that I am now. Um, for, I don't know, health reasons, obviously. Um, so I'm trying to get all of that shit in check too so that... Um, when we do decide that we are ready to do that, um, my weight isn't going to be a factor. Um, because I'm obviously, the goal is to like not have your weight be a factor in your life. Um, and I don't want it to hold me back when we are ready to do something like that. So, um, that's, I guess, another motivating issue. Um, 
fourth factor, but I, that's not the end all be all of it. Um, so yeah, I'm like over 20 minutes and that's my style, I guess. Um, so yeah, here I am. Um, hi, and I hope to see you guys soon.